Hello and welcome to another quick edit video, this time with an image from the Dolomites. And for this shot I'd like to apply a very desaturated look with a strong contrast and make the whole photo rather dark. So let's start. Right away I'm heading to the optics tab and I'm removing the chromatic aberration. I'm not using the profile corrections since I guess the mountain in the middle is getting a little too big for my taste, so I'm leaving that deactivated. For the profile, I'm going with Adobe Standard, just so I have more control over the contrast myself. Instead of adjusting the white balance, the very first thing I want to do for this image is to drop the vibrance and the saturation. Since I want this image to be very very desaturated, almost like a black and white image, I'm going to drop this quite a bit. All right, and now I can adjust the white balance. So what happens now if I drop the temperature, I will get some more contrast. So I think something like this looks pretty good. Now, of course, we still can't see much, so let's fix this. First off, the whole image is too bright. So I'm dropping the exposure. You can see this way we already got back some detail from here and up there. That's pretty nice, but I think I can further boost this effect. So let's just add some contrast. Also, I want to drop the highlights. It starts to get a little too dark, so I'm introducing some whites. So we just have a nice balance here. That looks good to me. Of course for this image I also want to have some nice sharpness going on. And I can apply this by adding some texture, some clarity. And I'm also increasing the dehaze which will give us more details from behind the clouds. All right. Now you can already see a ton of sensor spots. I will fix them later, but first let's finish the raw adjustments. And for this shot, there actually aren't any local adjustments. I want to add straight to the split toning in the color grading tab. Here I'm simply targeting the shadows. On them I want to apply a cold color tone somewhere in this range and I also want to keep it quite saturated so we get a nice blue color cast going on here. Finally let's also add some vignetting in the effects tab and this works really really good here. Finally let's sharpen this image in the details tab Just like that and now we are done with our adjustments and we can finish this image in Photoshop. First of course the most unfun part of the editing. I need to remove those sensor spots and therefore I'm using the spot healing brush. Let's zoom in and then just paint over every single spot. Okay, that already looks much better. For the next step, I want to use the TK panel plugin to create luminosity masks and I'm using them to do some dodging. So basically I'm making a few areas a little brighter, especially here in the center of the image. So let's first create a new layer and for the dodging, I'm setting the blending mode of this layer to overlay. Now with the TK panel plugin, I want to target the highlights so let's look for a light luminosity mask just like this. Then let's apply it on our new layer. Then by pressing B I'm picking up the brush tool and I'm making sure the brush opacity is rather low. And now let's paint over a few areas right there. This already helps quite a bit as you can see. And this way we just get some more contrast going on. Now let's merge those two layers. And I think I'm doing the same thing for the dark parts of the image. In this case that's called burning. 
So again, let's apply a new layer, switch the blending mode to overlay, use the TK panel plugin to create a layer mask. Since I'm going for the darks, I'm going with the darks mask, of course. Let's see. I think this one will work quite good. Now, instead of a white brush, I'm changing the foreground color to black. And again, I'm just painting over a few areas. All right, that should be enough. Again, I'm merging those two layers. And then finally, let's check the Nick Collection plugin to see if we can find any other effects to apply. Right away, I want to add the Pro Contrast filter. Also, I guess I want to correct the color cast just a little bit. So let's play around with this slider. Okay, and then let's also add a little bit of contrast. Nice. Then I think I want to add another filter right away. And here I'm going with the classical soft focus, which will give this image this nice soft look. The first soft focus preset, however, is a little too strong. So let's see. I think I'm going with the third one, but also I'm dropping the strength. That looks pretty good. So let's apply it like that. All right, and at this point I'm done with the editing. So I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video.